and we are back for another day inside of my studio. Today, I want to test RAM for my computer. I want to see how quick I can get it going so I can create the content, edit it, post it, and get back to work of fixing stuff in my garage. So you might ask, why is RAM important? The best uh, explanation I found for it is that the more RAM your PC has access to, the easier the job becomes and enables a faster computer. If you have sufficient or insufficient RAM, your computer is going to work harder and it's going to be harder to transfer that data and it severely damages the computer's performance. So, how much RAM is enough RAM? That's what I want to test out today of producing videos because I always hate it of actually sitting around here waiting for it to produce, waiting for it to get done rendering so I can get back into the garage. So, right now, I'm going to test. I got Time Tech random access memory which is RAM. This is going to be 8 gigabytes. I have 16 and I have 4 in the computer right now so I want to see how fast I can get my computer and how fast I can get out of here. So to test it I'm going to do a recent project that I just finished working on and I'm going to see how fast it renders out. See how the computer is actually working, if it's working harder or if the RAM helps it out. And I'll just bump it up from the 4 to the 8 and then the 8 to the 16 and hopefully get some good results. So let's get to it and see how long it takes on 4 gigabytes. Now if you're interested in upgrading your RAM for your computer, the easiest place to go to figure out exactly which type you need is the Time Tech website. It has an awesome tool for looking up exactly what type of RAM your computer needs. So for me, I can just come over here to desktop and it lets you select the manufacturer, the product line, and the model, and it tells you what to buy. So for me, I'm going to go to HP. Where is it? HP Compact. The line is going to be the Elite desktop, and the model is going to be the 8300. And it thinks about it. It's loading. And there we go. I know exactly what type of RAM that I should get for my computer. And I can choose between the 8 gigabytes, I can choose the 4 gigabytes, or even go up to the 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I have my most recent video ready to start up, and I'm going to see how long it takes. Now that test number one's done, I got some very interesting results. I want to see how test number two and three goes before I make a decision. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch out the RAM from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes. And switch out your RAM is super simple to do and very easy. It has two tabs on the side, and I've shown this in other videos, and hopefully you can see it, but unfortunately there's that fan shroud right in the way, and it pulls right out. So I'm going to remove this 4 gigabytes worth, and I am going to put in this 8 gigabytes of RAM and see if I can get some better results. So same thing as taking it out, you can put it right back in, and it snaps down, and that is it. And now that the computer has been upgraded with the Time Tech memory, it's time for test number two.
And now for test three. With the computer supercharged to the max with Timex RAM, I'm going to see how fast this project can get done. <laughs> 